Hi, this is Jenny Losey reporting to you from Pocatello High School on Tuesday, December 30th. Last week, Pocatello High School po posted security footage of a figure walking through Pocatello High School and lights flickering. The commotion was so disruptive, the security alarm sounded and police responded. John and Lisa Bryan, who have been ghost hunting for over seven years, says that this is the most authentic and 100% real footage that they have ever seen. I also spoke with former principal Don Cotent, who was principal for 14 years, who ran into some pretty chilling encounters as well. So it's this middle one that you want to be focusing on, and you can see a little ghost figure sitting right at the drinking fountain right here. And it's just a little shadow, and the lights keep flickering on and off and on and off. And then he stands up, or she, I don't know, stands up. And then they finally zoom in, but then you can see it a little better. And there's a little dark shadow right there, and it moves off to the side right here. Back in the bathroom, and out into the hallway, and then the lights flicker off. Okay, so can you tell me what you thought of the video? The video was excellent. Um very typical of what I would consider to be authentic ghost video. Mm -hmm. um, I really like it when they are on security um, cameras. The reason why is because number one, generally security cameras aren't accessible to just general public. You know, you have to go through the school, you have to go through somebody, and for legal reasons they generally don't give those things out. Uh, number two is because of the format that it is recorded on. Um, it, it's hard to go in and fake security footage and it's because obviously they're on multi cameras and you'd have to go and you'd have to specifically select that one and do something with it so um, excellent I would definitely in my opinion say it is a hundred percent authentic have you heard of ghost being in Pocatello High School before definitely um, we've investigated Pocatello High School three times over the past uh, let's say seven years um, in fact, in that building, right about where that bathroom is, um, we had some equipment come, miss, come up missing uh, during our investigation. We could not find it. We had just left it on a table. And they found it in the stairwell coming up to the second floor in a windowsill that was out of reach of average people. Um, the uh, the uh, janitor actually went up there to dust the windowsill and found it up there and it's right next to where that bathroom is. You were principal at Pokey High for 14 years. 14 years. And in those 14 years did you see anything that was paranormal activity? Over that time yes I witnessed a number of different things or had things brought to my attention that were, were probably paranormal, yes. What did you see? Well not that I always totally saw, it's what you hear. You know, when the building's at night, when I'd be working late on a Sunday night, maybe 9, 30, 10 o'clock, and there'd be some banging on the floor from underneath, you know, like somebody had a broom handle or whatever and was pounding it on the bottom of the floor. And uh, I'd just get up out of my chair and go over and I'd stomp on the floor with my foot and I'd talk to the ghost and I'd just say, hey, I've got work to do. I can't be bothered with you guys. Right now i got some more time in here, so leave me alone. And I'd go back in and go to work and about 10 minutes later they'd start pounding on the floor again and I'd do the same thing. That happened a couple of times. That happened off and on, you know, three or four times while I was principal. Do you think spirits get trapped in a place where they died? and their ghost stays and lingers, or do you think they just come back to visit that place, or do you think they're constantly always there? I think it depends on the situation. Um, over the years we've run into lots of different um, reasons, maybe, that something would be there. People think that they have to die in the building in order to be in the building, and mm -hmm. we've found that that's not necessarily true. Um, so there's different reasons for them to be there. Um, perhaps they really enjoyed their time at Pokey High School or something tragic may have happened to them and that's why they're there. Or they feel protective. Um, you know, we had stories and things that people really are protective over a building and so they stay there to help protect it or to kind of keep, keep an eye on it. So I think there's lots of different reasons um, why whatever is staying there is in that building. Mm -hmm. um, we did have a lot of personal experiences in that building. Um, every time that we investigated, there was always something new that happened. 
um, to us or to somebody in our group. And so there was a lot of really personal things um, that happened personally to us as well as things that we captured on camera and on um, our audio equipment. So it was it's always a fun time to go into Pokey High School. <laughs> well, I had two activity advisors. One was a cheerleader advisor and one was a student government advisor who did a lot of work on the weekends and getting pre prepared to, to do their activities and so forth. And they were in there on a Saturday morning and, and had things laying out on the, on the hallway floor and working on decorations and so forth there. And all of a sudden, the piano started playing in the auditorium, which was just right there next to them, the doors are closed and so forth there, but and they kept playing away and so one of them said, that's strange. So we thought we were the only ones in the building. And so they went, she went over and she had a key and she opened it up the door and looked in there. Piano stopped playing. Lights are not on. She said, I swear, didn't you hear that? And the other one says, yeah, I heard that piano playing. <clears throat> she says, that's strange. And so she locks the door and they start working again, and in about five, ten minutes, the piano starts playing again. And then this one advisor goes, somebody's trying to scare us. Somebody's trying to really scare us or something here. So she hustles down the foyer and down alongside the auditorium and goes back to where the stage doors are at. And so she quietly takes her keys and puts in there and pops that door open and the piano stops. There's no lights playing. And so she's going, I don't know what's going on here. So she closes the door, comes back up and tells you, there's nobody there. And they're both going, holy cow, what's going on here? You know, and so that kind of scared them. Interesting, uh, obviously some type of electrical was going on. Uh, lights were going on and off. That's probably how they found the image of the ghost was because the lights throughout the building seemed to be going on and off in random patterns. Um, typically, especially with strong paranormal activity, you can have electrical issues. Um, somehow they can interact with it, they can affect it. Um, and so I thought it was a great piece of footage, one of the best I've ever seen, of um, electrical phenomenon going on with the paranormal. So, great footage. One of the other, some of the same advisors that been in there a lot with student government had a couple of her boys with her that were smaller boys and who kind of grew up with our school as she was teaching there. And, and uh, she would bring them with her on Saturday and they'd come in and they'd shoot baskets in the gym and she'd be working either around the concession stand or just getting things ready for student government. And she could hear them in there shooting the ball and ball bouncing on the floor. And, she was in there and the ball quit bouncing. She said, oh, that's strange, you know. She didn't think anything, but pretty soon she thought, I better go in there and check on them, see if they're all right. So she goes in there and, and they're sitting on the floor up against the wall like this here. Ball's sitting right there beside them. She says, what's the matter? How come you guys quit shooting? There was a guy right up there sitting in the rafters. He yelled at his mom and told us to quit shooting and quit making noise. So we sat down and we were being quiet. And she says, that was enough for all of us. We got out of there too that day. <laughs> so. In the figure, did you think that it looked like an adult or a child, a man or a woman? It definitely isn't a child. Um, it looks like a full grown adult um, from the size because in the video, it walks out of the bathroom all the way into the middle of the hall and then it goes back into the bathroom. Um, one thing I would like to know is if that is a male or female bathroom. That, that could be, um, you know, it's not definitive, but it could be a, a way to assume if it's male or female. To see original footage, click on the link below. I'm Jenny Lissy with the Idaho State Journal. Thanks for tuning in and visit idostatejournal.com for more news stories.